And here we are finally at the last episode of Let's Play The Lord of the Rings The Return of the King. Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil and this is episode 12. On the last episode we slugged through the Black Gate. God damn that level, but I'm actually quite glad I beat it. And now, we must do what must be done. That was like Darth Sidious or something. We must destroy the One Ring. Let us enter the Crack of Doom. And I've got my cup of tea here. Just take a quick sip. <sighs> okay, let us go into the Crack of Doom. Wish me luck. Da -da -da, I get to play as Frodo? Yeah, why not do the final level in level one? Okay, let's do it. I'm not even mad. Not even mad. Come on, level one. Level one on the final level. Let's do it. It will come to one final test. One final moment. We shall see the Shire again. All life upon Middle-earth will hinge upon everything that came before it. Brussels! Oh shit, I was about to take a sip of my, my tea. Fuck! Alright, so the game's just started and we've already lost a finger. What the hell? Get away from us! You're ah! the master no more! We'll be the master! Your Lord is free! Yeah. Hey, your Lord Give of the Rings, Golem. Fuck her off! off stop ah, there you go, lost some health. Leave us alone. You're a one determined. How is he do- is he a spider or something? How the hell does he stick to the balls like that? I'm just pretty much guessing what I'm supposed to do here, but that seems to do a lot of damage, so if I can just get him towards the edge again. I don't know what it takes to get rid of you. Right, that is one scary golem. And ah, here we go. He's at the edge. Go. What the hell did he just do that? How is he doing backflips in the Hobbit? Or a wannabe Hobbit, whatever. And that was a lot of damage just then. That was my first... Wow. I really don't know... What is my strategy here? Like, how do I... It seems that he's focused on me and Sam can do all the damage. I don't know if that's why he's here. Are we actually doing damage? We're not. This is bollocks. I'm almost dead already. God damn it. Let's go into the lava. Oh, a health potion. Aha! I can dodge him easy enough, but... How do I... I honestly don't know how I want to do... Hold on, I'm going to check mission tips. This has always the, my, been, my, been my savior. Okay, ready? Use fierce or physical attacks to knock Golem off. Oh, physical attacks. Oh, yeah, I always forget about those. Oh, here we go. Okay, when he gets close. Oh, wait, maybe that's only when he's about to fall off, I think. Ah, there we go, and smack. Okay, when he gets close to the edge, I'm just going to keep doing this stupid little push that I get. There we go, push no jutsu. Ha ha. Oh, there he is. Actually, I wonder if I can just get a quick kill again. Come on, yep. Yeah. Hey, you bastard. Actually, shouldn't we just do it here? Because this is the most narrowest part. It'll be easiest to push him off here. I might not let do that. You will never get it back. Never. Rustled mustn't talk to Brussels. Your time is at an end. All right, maybe I just need to dodge him for like a fixed number, of, uh, fixed amount of time, and then I'm just gonna let Sam deal with this because really I have no idea what I'm doing, and Frodo's not the most useful. Ah, here we go, here we go. Uh, push, push. I don't do backflip when I push it. Yeah. How is he? This level makes no sense. <laughs> Why would you end it with this? A boss fight with Gollum. If it really took this long, the Nazgul would have been here by now. What the hell? 
They would have noticed someone in hat. Alright. He has still got a lot of health left. I do not want to have to restart this. I swear there's got to be something to do when he's like screaming like that. I'm taking that health potion up here. Do, 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 do. This would be a lot easier if I knew what I was doing. Or, or, or if I knew how to get him to the fucking edge. And he wasn't so good at dodging my fucking parry or breaking my parry. This is so stupid! We've got souls and we outnumber him! Okay. When he stops to yell, we've got to attack, and then pull back, I'm guessing? And now lava is spewing everywhere, holy god. Alright, let's get, let's try and dodge the wombo combo of lava and golem, alright. Take a quick sip of my tea. Mmm. It's not hot anymore, that tasted bad. Fuck. Ah! Alright, he's on yellow health, things are looking up, people, things are looking up. The crack of doom is almost upon us. I don't want to say that again. Alright, I'm just gonna do a slash and then run, slash and then run, and let's see what happens. Slash and then run. Come on, knock him off again. Ah, Jesus. It kind of makes sense that he does so much damage because it is Frodo after all. He's like, body is shattered by now. Ow! You are one- Ow! How does he- Ah, here we go, here we go, yes! And... There you go, very nice. Can we get a checkpoint? Because that was fucking stupid. Come on. Come on, checkpoint. I know this game hates me for checkpoints. No, we don't. Bollocks. Alright, I need to get a health potion. Yes! Actually, you know what? At least it's giving us health potions. Thank you, game. Alright. I'm gonna do my hit and run tactic again. Whoa, that is some serious speed. Did you see those that double kick he just did? He just fucking straight up drop kicked me. Golem just straight up drop kicked me. Are you... Am I the only one who saw that? That was cr Where did that combo come from? What is that, his up smash? Are we getting, get, is he getting ready for Smash 4? What the hell is going on? On. Jesus, he just knocked both of us out. This is so stupid. You know what, if I could take hits like that and then just, this, this battle would be over in no time if I had gotten this power right now. I don't know when to attack him is the most annoying part. I'm getting that health potion because they're kind enough to spawn. Thank you. Here we go. To the... Aha! I blocked him. In your face, Gollum. Alright, so I'm pretty sure with, with his remaining health, we probably only need to knock him in twice. Uh. Come on. Ah, here we go. He's getting close to the edge. Oh, no, he just jumped straight back. Ow! Alright, that straight up looked like that Sam decked me. That's not very nice. Come on, Sam, hit him! I'm, I'm leaving it in your capable hands. Go! I used you for the entire thing. Ah, ah! There is no way he's coming back from that. If he does, I call hacks. He's actually Superman. Oh Jesus! Now we have to touch lava. What is this? The Fire Temple in Legend of Zelda? Okay, whoever designed this, you can tell this is old school mechanics because you're trying to get out of the lava and it's still damaging you. So, yeah, it's impossible to get out the lava in that case. And he's just walking through it like nobody's business. You know what, this just requires a lot of patience. We just gotta wait until he gets to the edge and then go for it. Oh, he's at the edge! Quickly, Sam! Fuck, he's gone. Just gonna wait for our opportunity again. Instead of force the issue, we're just gonna wait. We're gonna be patient, which is not my strong suit, because I am not freaking patient. Anything that requires patience, I just... fail at. Alright, come on, we can do this. 
This is just basically me saying, uh, this has been me whining at Gollum and then saying I can do it. There has been really nothing worthy of note to say in this episode, other than health potions have been spawning and lava has been uh, dropping from the sky. But that's it. That's all I've got to work with, people. This is what I've got for the final episode. I'm so sorry. Come on. Come on over here, Gollum. Final flurry, because he's. Pr I'm pretty sure he's going to die after this. On. You guys are going to tell me, like, actually, Rude Devil, you could just do this, and it's very easy. I'm like, oh. Oh, I. Well, I feel like such an idiot right now. Although, I can talk about actually that 4v4 that we had planned for BFM2 a couple of days ago. Uh, I asked people for if they were interested in a 4v4, and a number of you respond. What the? God damn it. I start talking about BFM2, and. Well, maybe I won't get the chance to talk about BFM2, because I'm pretty sure that's the end! ring is destroyed, and all that was done by that power is passing away. Those who were bound to the fate of the One are now free. Now come the days of the King, and may they be blessed while the thrones of the Valor endure. Needless were none of the deeds of Gandalf in life. We do not yet know his full purpose. The Third Age of Middle-earth was my age. And Sauron was my enemy. I kindled hope. The secret fire of Arnold in the hearts of others. Sauron, in his greed, bound all power in the One. As Sauron mingled his own blood with the ring's gold, so did I mingle myself with my magic. For all who live here, I wove but a spell of trust and fellowship given freely. One that shall now endure without me. My work is finished. The work of others is about to begin. And that was beautiful. Ah, uh, the Lord of the Rings is so dead. It coming 2004! <laughs> <laughs> well, I should probably pick that up then. Ah, uh, the Lord of the Rings is so beautiful, isn't it? And that's it, we've completed the campaign! Holy crap, I did it! Yes, I killed Gollum! And, uh, there was none of that heartfelt Frodo and thing moment. Hey, Frodo's- So basically, the only way Frodo can level up is that level, I'm guessing. We got one fair, because there was only one enemy. I really... Yeah, mission rating fair. There's only one enemy, what else was I supposed to do? Alright, let's, uh... Actually, what unique thing does Frodo get? Oh, he has an F5 move I didn't use! That, that F5 move bailed me out. Oh, it's just Elven Cloak, and I wouldn't have been able to use it anyway. Final Judgment? I thought I would have purchased Final Judgment for everyone. This seems kind of strange. Anyway, let's not battle. Let's finish the game. Let's see if there's any little collectibles we get, now that the game is finished. Yay, we've done it! <laughs> Why are only Andy Serkis interview? David Wenham? Is that... Is that Faramir? Secret codes. Uh, we got Mary. Ah, oh, I'm gonna watch all of these three things. What is the secret codes? Restore health. Are you shitting me? Seven seven five five. Remember that. Infinite missiles. Invulnerable. Seven five seven eight. Oh my god. That is freaking awesome. All right. Any other collectibles? Eleanor Field. Wait. Hello, Faramir. How long have you been here? Merry. Pippin. So we get to play... Okay, so we get to play whatever level as any character we want. Plus, we also get Pippin, Merry, and Faramir. That is so cool. My only regret is that we don't get to play as... Oh, I'm gonna play this freaking level as... 
You know, I'm gonna go straight to that Kirithun and gold level, and I'm gonna fuck them all up as Gandalf and word of power this shit. Oh my god, that's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to do that. Anyway, that was it for the Return of the King. Thank you all so much for uh, watching. And you know what? I'm probably gonna go on to the two towers, but not before doing a Halo Wars Let's Play, because one particular person has been hounding me to do that for ages, so I'll be resuming that probably next week. I just need to set up my Xbox. And uh, that should be a lot of fun, because it's an RTS, it's one of my favorite genres, and it's actually a pretty fun campaign. So anyway, once again, thank you all so very much for watching and supporting the videos, as always. I'm Root Devil. We've just completed the Return of the King. We've seen the One Ring destroyed, and King Elisar restored. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.